all these fine ass men in the hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm doing another story time video this time on what it's really like to be a part of greek life especially like i am in a sorority and i was very active in my sorority when i was on campus so just want to like let you guys know what it's really like to be a part of greek life for those of you guys who aren't really familiar with greek life there are different types of sororities and fraternities so you have professional ones social ones and honor like an honor society type one so most of the sororities or fraternities that most people are familiar with are social organizations so what we mean by social that it's really just like what it says like you meet people you hang out you go to mixers you um have events for like the public this is those people on campus and you can collaborate with other um organization whether it be greek or non-greek organizations and these are typically the ones that are seen in like tv shows and movies where all they do is party all the time but yeah and i myself am a part of two um, Greek organization, I'm a part of Sigma Iota Sigma, which is a multicultural social sorority. Um, it's local, so you won't find it at every campus out there. <laughs> but yeah, it's really small. Like there is probably a little over 200 sisters in my chapter. And yeah. And then I'm also a part of a honor um, fraternity as well chi alpha epsilon which this one is for students who are eop which if you're not familiar with eop is equal opportunity program so like it's for students who can't really afford financially to pay for college and and they still had really good grades so you could apply to this program when you're starting at some university other school call it something else i know it's also known as heop for some schools and if you're in new york for um cunies it's a different program called seek so yeah so i'm a part of that as well it's like another type of organization where you just know a lot of people but they have a honor fraternity which is chi alpha epsilon and i am also part of that as well so fraternities and sororities come with a lot of benefits like i said there's three different types of fraternities and sororities the professional ones is really more so for like networking so you know people who are going along the same career path as you and who are members of this organization so it's easier to like you know get asked for advice like mentorship and like when it comes to looking for jobs and internship these are like the people you're really going to want to go to and ask for help in looking for these things because one you have that commonality that you guys are part of the same fraternity so there's that and they're more inclined to help you because you're part of their fraternity and it's like a brotherhood and then <clears throat> honor society is those are it's kind of the same as professional ones in this fact that like these are people who like you know have the same type of goals as you are there at the same level like you know so it's a good one for if you're looking for internships or future job opportunities or like looking for mentorship so those are the real benefits of professional and honor fraternities social organizations yes you can find all those things within a social org but social orgs are mainly for like really just meeting people making friends and making that social connection the main reason a lot of people i know personally who have joined social orgs say they were interested to begin with was because they wanted a home away from home which totally makes sense especially if you're going to a larger um university or college like you can feel like an outcast or just like 
a loner if you really do not have a friend group. So a lot of people choose to join a sorority or fraternity so they can make friends and like you know you have that bond for life because through the pledging process like you know you become really closer to the people that are your line sisters or your line brothers like you know some people say pledge sisters pledge brothers as well but like the people that you go through that pledge process with are going to be some of your closest friends maybe not every single one depending on how many people you are pledging with like i've heard of pledging class of over like 30 people which that's crazy personally my um line was a line of 12 which for my story that's been that's been the biggest line that's ever crossed so for me to hear like over 30 people pledging at one time that's a lot and my line sisters are some of my closest friends i'm closer to some than others but still we all get along pledging was rough for every one of us and it just made us like you know bond over that time that we had to go through the process together like after it but these are going to be some of the people like you know for the rest of your life these are the people who are going to be there to cheer you on motivate you there for every major milestone in your life like even after college i graduated 2018 and i still talk to all of my line sisters we still hang out like just back in april we celebrated our four year anniversary of like joining the sorority like not everyone could have made it but like it was uh, the majority of us so that's what i mean like we're still really close four years after joining like it's not just for the like years that you are in college it's really a lifetime thing and it's also you have to make it that commitment to always like you know reach out plan things with each other just you know like these are your friends these are your sisters like these are your brothers like you actually had to put in that effort but now for the real tea like our sororities and fraternity as well as we see them on tvs and in movies yes 100 percent, yes they are just as wild <laughs> as you see on tv i've seen some reckless shit happen i've heard of some crazy ass stories of what happened i like frat parties and stuff or mixers like like people hooking up with like you know each other like everyone in greek life tends to date or hook up with other greek life it's really an issue like people will come in with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they'll dump or break up with their significant other within like a month of crossing because all you doing is partying with these people so like you're seeing all these other people and like they either out here cheating and which is why they eventually break up or they're just like you know what there's so many options i don't want to be tied down i want to explore i want to do whatever like yeah and like people be doing all kinds of drugs all kinds of drugs they do i don't do drugs sorry god i do not do drugs that's like my heart limit. i'll drink as much i i've drank till i blacked out at these rap parties like it it was fun i loved it but <laughs> yeah people be out here really wilding at fat parties and stuff or i like mixtures like uh, mixers are like um social events that sororities and fraternities will like have with each other so with a lot of social orgs they usually have at least one mixer every week some orgs they do it twice a week but my org we did it just once a week so every week we literally had a party and trust me it kind of gets tiring real fast like you think oh my god that's so much fun but like you're still a college student you're still taking classes like i also worked um all throughout college so like i had classes i had work at a point i also had an internship at one point i also had a boyfriend so it's like balancing all these things was really hard so and imagine like seeing all these 
fine ass men in these organization and try to be loyal. It was hard. It was hard. But yeah, but then me and my boyfriend broke up before I graduated, so then I was free to do whatever I wanted to do. And let me tell you, it was fun. It was fun. Like you literally will see people hooking up like in the party right in front of everyone they do not fucking care like trust me the crazy part is like a lot of times these parties do get shut down by the cops <laughs> and you'll just see everyone just running and you'll see like the brothers for the frat house trying to calm everyone down and tell them to shut the fuck up because cops are outside and, like you know they're not trying to get in trouble because a lot of these people are underage because frat parties are open to like basically everyone on campus not everyone on campus is 21 or older so there are underage people there there's obviously alcohol there there's obviously like you know drugs there so it can get real wild real fast and i have been to lots of parties that have gotten shut down because like the cops showed up because remember we're also the fat house is like in a residential area so the house is next door if you're not you know you're being too loud there's a lot of people in a fucking two two family house like and you have over 200 people they're making mad noise these people are drunk they're rowdy as fuck you know so they're making mad noise so of course the neighbors are gonna hear and they're probably gonna call the cops to have the party shut down because it's 2 a.m they're trying to sleep and these parties be on like Thursday night, weekday nights. It's not like always on a weekend or like a Friday or Saturday. No, some of these times, I want to party on a Monday night, on a Tuesday night. They party every day of the week, sweetie. They do not care. So it'd be like that. <laughs> but one thing I do want to say, like part of being in a Greek organization that's not really shown in movies and tv shows is that like it's a lot of work that goes into um being in a sorority that's not really portrayed like you have we have um weekly meetings called chapter which that's where we come together we are planning events so we do have to host events um that according to school we have to host like certain number of events on different topics um for a given like school year or like a given semester basically so these events have to like be like professional development type events um social like justice type events like you know like stuff like just educating people like multicultural events just like you know we'll just host events and these events are open to everyone they're open to anyone on campus like it does not matter if you're greek or non-greek sometimes we do have like greek only events which is very rare like that's a very rare occurrence like usually events is open to everyone it's also a way for us like kind of give back to our community in a sense like the campus community so it's a good way for you to like interact with people in the organization that you might potentially want to join before even really joining because you're seeing like what kind of content are they like putting forth to the public like how are they bettering the like campus community at large you know like do i only hear about this organization when something crazy is going on in their organization when they're found hazing you know like new members or if like something like you know is happening that's bad or like they just have a bad rep so that's one of the ways I would say if you really do want to join Greek Life, do go to events that they are hosting and see are their events well put together? Are they thought out? Like if they're an organization that doesn't present well, like would you want to be a part of that? Because now you have to like represent that. And do you want to be a part of an organization that's like chaotic, doesn't have their ish together? So I would say definitely look at the kind of events that they do host, how they are when they are hosting the events, are the members showing up for their own events? Because as someone's been in a sorority, like a lot of times we'll have events and sisters will not come. 
like and it just doesn't look good if this is your org this is what you represent and you're not showing up for the event that means you probably don't care about that event yourself so why should like other people care so these are things i honestly say to like look for and you'll know who is in greek life because we're always wrapping our letters like literally always <laughs> like i know for a fact i have so many clothes and things and just like you know items that have like my greek letters on it just because i was very proud i was very active in my organization so <clears throat> yeah i will say keep an eye out for them on campus Steph sorry guys i had to move from where i was filming earlier so just to wrap up i really hope you guys found this video to be helpful if you have any questions please do not hesitate to like reach out definitely you can drop them in the comment and i will get back to you guys as soon as possible but i hope you really enjoyed this video make sure to like share and subscribe thanks